So Jay, what do you think one of the most important things that a music artist can do on social media to help them sell their careers far better? The number one thing is you have to find your tribe find your audience. There are people out there that would love what you're doing if they were exposed to it. Number one, find your tribe. Number two, engage with your tribe. And that takes us to social media in general. You don't want to have social media that's buy my album, see my show, buy my album, see my show. Nobody wants that. But if you engage with that tribe, if you engage with that audience and you develop a relationship with them over time, ask them questions, respond to their questions, have a dialogue back and forth. That actually affects the algorithm of socials too and spread your message out to more and more people. Because we all know that you can't reach everybody in your socials just by posting, only a small percentages, unless you boost your post, pay to advertise, those types of things. But organically, you can reach more and more people by having that back and forth uh, conversation and just finding that tribe engaging with that tribe and then make maybe five percent of what you're posting about buy my album see my show so what do you think about all the people that sort of drop a link and just say something like you know single dropping tuesday click here you know what are your thoughts about right. that, that that approach that doesn't work or does it I, it doesn't really work and if there's pent up demand for it maybe some people are going to click on that i tend to look at things like Instagram stories ads that drive people, let's say, to a DSP, and they're bite-sized chunks of video that really grab your interest. Now I'm interested. I'm seeing something, it's like, wow, that looks interesting, and now I wanna go do it. I don't wanna be sold to, I don't wanna be barked at, even by my favorite artists. I don't want them just to drop a link and say, have a good day. I want them to talk to me. Hey, I've got new music coming out. You know, here's uh, some of the covers that I'm going to be doing. Which cover do you think is best? I'm going to be dropping some music next Friday. I'd love to hear what you think. You know, I'd like to engage with you about it. I think that's more important. So uh, what role does personalization uh, play in that? Like, hey, Jay, could you please click on my link and not just, hey, everyone. I think personalization has a lot to do with it. Today, fans want to be recognized. Um, more than anything else. So when someone comments on your socials or sends you a DM, respond to them and respond to them personally. It, it makes a big, big difference. It's like one of the reasons why Twitch is so popular now is for musicians, is that you can have a performance on Twitch and have that dialogue and that recognition with your fans. And it's, it's intoxicating. So when you're working on your socials, make sure that if, if Jay or Bobby post something like, you know, hey, I really like that song you did. Hey, Jay, hey, Bobby, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. And share their posts. I had an artist the other day share a tweet and say, hey, thank you with the person's name. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for this. They'll, they'll never forget that. You know, they like to be recognized as fans. So spay and, uh, spray and pray is, is not a good technique, right? No, spray and pray just doesn't work. When you're just hitting larger numbers, it's, it's better to have quality over quantity when it comes to social media. Less is more. If you want to learn more about how you can turn your passion for music into a more successful business, be sure to check out this video or the video linked in the description below. Peace.